alerted the nurse practitioner, the GP, whoever, that the patient with the appointment has a dual sensory loss, then the practitioner can then come out and just make sure that they collect the patient and walk with them. It's such a simple thing to do. It takes a lot of the stress out of waiting because you know that somebody's going to come and get you. And it makes the experience much more reassuring and satisfying because from the start off, you feel that the practitioner is actually taking care of you and that you're less vulnerable than you otherwise might be. This is not a unique group of people. It's not a small group of people. They're actually out there using NHS services, the whole diversity of NHS services every day. If you can fix these problems for people with these particular circumstances, it will open up solutions to, to problems for everybody. level of health inequality there has to be a reason for it and it doesn't seem to be a huge leap to suggest that actually if we're talking about primary care very often we're talking about the relationship between the patient and their GP and the foundation of a relationship is good communication and if you don't have that literally from walking in the front door and you know someone saying wait over there where's there is going to stay with me for the rest of well forever um, if we don't establish that relationship as someone walks through the door, as they sit with a nurse or an OT or a physiotherapist or their doctor, we're going to continue having those same health outcomes. A lot of the improvements come from getting the simple things right. Yeah. Um, and if we can get the simple things right more consistently, um, then we will achieve an awful lot. Um, so it's not all about payments and redesign. No, um, that's part that's of right. the answer. But um, I think reminding of the, of the basic things and I think we need to get that message across to start operating at the moment in a very intense environment which makes them less mindful of mm. who they're talking to. Um, and so I think one of the, the, the core things we need to remember to do is the basics of good communication in a, in a very busy working environment. Um, and if we can do that, then I think we'll, we'll make a difference in itself. There's, there's a lot that the system could be doing now, um, or as well as um, dealing with these current issues in terms of you know, day to day access to services. There's, there are some big strategic gains to be made to really, you know, when we look back in five, ten years, there is potential to have really transformed people's experiences, but only if, and this is the real key to it, I think, if the people who know, the people who are experiencing it, are um, brought into the thinking and the planning and the framing of the solutions from the start, throughout, and they're given a chance to say how's it gone at the end. Again, we should remember this, shouldn't we? It all adds up. <laughs>